Agora TV. The world is thinking. Small vertical garden for this lady. She's a very good friend, Noemi, and it's only herbs. So every morning, morning, it's why she has scissors in the hand. Every morning, she got she she goes to cut uh, rosemary, sage, oregano, uh, laurel, everything, and she gives to many friends. So it's only plants you can eat for uh, uh, as herbs for uh, cooking. So it's, uh, <coughs> it's very interesting because also you can, uh, you can use vertical gardens if you have sun enough, because of course for all these kind of plants, uh, you need full sun. So in this case, no problem, you can do it. In Sydney, for the Qantas Air Lounges, something similar, but uh, uh, quite exciting in London, also for, air, uh, it's for Sky Team uh, Air Lounges. A project I like very much in, uh, in Taipei and in, uh, inside the National Theatre. So you see it's a, a huge, huge uh, work for indoor work. For outdoor work, it's not huge because it's 10 by 10 meters. But for indoor work, it's a huge work. A house I did totally covered with plants in Belgium, even the roof, because sometimes also I can make roofs of, also, of course, covered with plants. So I did cover all the walls of the house, you see, on the roof, the roof also. <laughs> you see, it's, uh, it's quite funny. Uh, I did say, uh, this photo I did take uh, just a few months ago in uh, August or September. I did say, uh, please cut, cut this a little bit because you, <laughs> you don't see the shape of the house. So, uh, uh, as I told you, I think it's very important to keep really the good relation between the architecture and the plants. And this I don't like because in this case, plants are too big and you don't see the architecture of the house. So you see, it's very important to have the good balance between both.